I know this was kind of a, a bucket list moment for you to get oh. to do it. So give us an idea, like, what was the experience like in there for you? Man, you know what? It was before anything. Uh, I walked into the arena just to check out the place. I was watching the lights go and just got this a different sense of energy, man. It was it was amazing. Like, uh, yeah, it lifted me in a different way. Uh, you know, because of the time difference, it's still kind of like sometimes offset. But the second I walked into the arena, I was I was awake. And that's before warming up. That's before, you know, getting G'd up myself. I just looking at the lights and the cage and how everything was unbelievable. And then when I stepped in there, I just, just feels at home, man. It just, yeah. it, it felt great. It felt great. Your vibe all week has been kind of different. I wonder if it's like, you know, not having to be a headliner. Maybe it's not fighting in Europe where maybe the attention's a little bit more. Maybe it's not being in like a rivalry fight where there's, I mean, what's, what, what has it been about you this week? I, I think I, I've just been a tourist. <laughs> so as soon as I, as soon as I got here, I've just been, like I said, I think I said to you before, I keep forgetting I, I was here to fight because I'm having so much fun in Japan. I'm just going around. I've been shopping way too much. <laughs> just going around and just, just really embracing the culture. Um, so I think that's what's kind of offset me a little bit in turn because it's not, it wasn't always about the fight the whole time. So yeah, I think that's where the different energy came from. Nice. Your performance in there, I mean, it was obvious you were comfortable early. I mean, yeah. you talked about, you know, hey, kind of feeling him out, and then once you know what the guy's got, that's when you can get this. Do you remember the moment where you're like, oh, he, 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 he doesn't have it for me tonight? <laughs> yeah, you know what, he was, um, he, was, he, was try, he was playing a little bit awkward, bit really, really closed, wasn't opening up very much, but still, still applying pressure. Um, so it took me a little bit longer to try and figure out exactly what range or what I, I want to do. Um, and then I'd say I started to open up a bit more myself in the second round. And that's when I was just like, yeah, this is, yeah, it's game over. I hit him with a shot and he went down. And uh, he's tough though, man. That, that shot, that should have ended the fight. And he just got back up like it was nothing. I had to look at my hands like, yeah, it's, not, it's not working. <laughs> but um, yeah, just from then on, I just like, I knew I had, I had one. Yeah, the one that ended it, I mean, were you confident as soon as you landed? Like that's oh, that? As, as, soon, as soon as it landed again, you can kind of tell by the way uh, somebody's body switches off. Uh, where, you, where you're at with, with that person. So I just knew. Or you, you're known for your celebrations, and we all kind of noticed that you were very just kind of, you, you didn't kind of showboat or mm -hmm. celebrate at all. Was that something to do with being here? A hundred percent. For me, uh, I'm, I always say I'm, I'm very aware of my surroundings. You've got you to you read the crowd. You've got to read uh, just, the, just the moment. And uh, for me, just coming over here kind of brought back a lot of old school memories of my martial arts youth days and, having to bow for everything. I remember accidentally bowing across the road one time just because it was such a habitual thing. Um, so yeah, it was, it was just nice to just switch off. I, that's why I made my entrance the, you know, the thing, you know, being a, a massive Naruto fan, I made that the, the thing to stand out and then everything else was just, you know, just showing respect. Nice. Uh, uh, obviously you want to enjoy the moment, but I do want to ask you what's next. Lorenz came in here, he was very respectful. In fact, he said he, he didn't really want to fight you. He likes you so much. I mean, because a lot of people were floating that that would be a great fight, especially yeah, yeah, yeah. for what you guys would fight. But I'm curious. I mean, you're trying to get back to that number one, you know, contender yeah, yeah, yeah. spot. He thinks he's a number one contender, but he missed weight. So I'm just kind of curious, like, how you see things shaping out right now, and, and have you done enough now to get back to, to Lima? Uh, you know, I it, I just find uh, for me Lima's response quite weird. It just kind of says a lot lot uh, about maybe where his head's at a little bit in terms of he wanted to fight me before, and then the, you know I came back quite quickly. Um, and had a few fights and still kind of, he's now kind of not interested and, you know, talks of him going up and this and that. It, it's, it's, it feels like he's now trying to distance himself as much as possible. Uh, everybody else is what it is. I'm just going to keep fighting until he can't get away from me. And I will get that. I will get that, um, that, that back. That's the only thing that's sitting on my record. So I'm only, I'm only going to be reminded of you over and over and over again. So I'm coming back and it's going to be a, it's going to be a fun night that night. How do you, I mean, I'm just going to say that in a point blank. I mean, you look online, people are like, this wasn't a quality opponent. This wasn't a quality, you know, you've, you've heard all, like, so, like, does that annoy you? Like, what, like? Uh, you know what? Where I'm at now, I, it kind of, I find it a bit of a compliment. And because we already know, for the people, you know, that truly understand MMA, they know, the, 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 they know these opponents, they know what they've gone through, they know their standard. And they're still calling them a can. That just means I'm making them look like that. You know what I mean? It says I'm on the right track in terms of um, like the style of, you know, the, the fashion that I'm winning in. 
So although it's about, you know, everyone keeps going on about this crushing cans thing, I'm going to start agreeing with you and anybody can get it. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.